That's some good e-waste there. Feel the night wrap around you. Stay away from that biohazard. You'll want to wash yourself off for a month. Found the Majut Meadow. Watch out for the Majut. Navigate by starshine. Now that the Majut is back in the pen, it seems calm, but Noko is still concerned. She says the Majut is still anxious, but fortunately she knows just the thing it needs to calm down. The Majut once found and ate a bonbon gummy by mistake, and that the chewing really calmed it down. She says that you should find some bonbon gummies for the Majut by the crossway. At least, that's where she found some last time. A 
Andro, Dano Ruta, Do Male Tu. She figures the choosies from the old world are made from gummy trees, but wouldn't be surprised if they were actually made from some chemical concoction, though. Whatever you do, do it right, or don't do it at all. Cranks like these usually need to be wound to operate the dispenser. Just a few moves left, make them count. What you see is what you get, once it's out of the blind box, that is. With its attention diverted to the chewy bonbon gummy, the Majut calms down. But Noko is still concerned. She's relieved the Majut has calmed down, but you'll need a heavier sit-tight to ride it than the one she's got. The only sit-tight she can think of that would be heavy enough is one she's spotted mounted on an old world Mecha Majut. If she remembers correctly, she spotted it at the Smilo Shopperia while scavenging for treats for the gnotes. That's not so far away. Seems to her they preferred the Mechamajuts over the living counterparts in the old world. Maybe the gnotes were near extinct. Noko is always willing to help. We'll be around when you return. Fala. Noko is always willing to help.
Take this seriously, or it'll take you down. History. valuable. Found some e-waste. Worthwhile. Every day, everything seems like it happens at once. You need to loosen the bolts without rattling the mechanism. That's it. The sit tight is loose. Time to stop horsing around and get the sit tight back to Noko. Now that the Majut's got a mouthful of Bon Bon Gummy and the brand new sit tight is in place, the Majut is ready to ride. Noko's been training another fantabulous little critter that'll hopefully become a distraction for the hoof puff when you confront it. She's called them Glitter Moths, and the best way to find them is to go talk to Mito. She's asked him to keep them somewhere safe. You'll find Mito at Brightlight. He's a light-headed fellow, but hopefully he'll remember where he stored the moths. He's been able to literally shed some light in the darkness for her over the years, but also because of his cheerful manner. Noko is always willing to help. We'll be around when you return.
Tell it to gallop. This place is called Bright Light. Meet him is close by. Let's see. With the world getting darker by the day, there's not much time left to save it. And even though you've just met, he feels you're bound to play a huge part in that. Claims to be a simple lamp maker, bringing light into the world as best he can. You found your way through the darkness. You shine like the sun in the sky. But will you use that power to warm the world or burn it? Hopes you see how much good you can do with power like that and how easy it is to let it drive you mad. No matter where your path takes you, though, it's important to remember where you came from. The past bright lights the present. Wonders if you know how much of an effect you've had upon the world. Your presence changes things like light changes darkness. Did you realize that when choosing where to shine? Don't go boarding. Figures that doesn't matter. You can't help but shine either way. So happy you know you're helping brighten the world. There's plenty of it that's still worth saving. Whatever happens to the world, you shone as bright as you could. That matters more than you know. Says you did the right thing in taking up with the Myriad. They buy lots of his lamps. That's a tribe that believes in the bright things in the world. Joko. Claims he wasn't trying to sell you anything. Now, says he can see by the twinkle in your eyes that you're not here to talk about your allies. He assumes you are here to be enlightened. He can't blame you as everything just feels dark and hopeless these days. There's something about you, like you're knit together, your fate's connected. What you've said, he feels too. So, why not call him me too? He senses you're like the dayfly, living every day like it's your last, afraid that when night comes, it might be proved right. Says it's pronounced that way, but spelt different. But he feels that connection with you. Mito says he's not only into those who shine bright, he likes things that glitter, too. He reckons you haven't seen a glitter moth, and says it's about time you did. Even though they're nesting near gone grass, they never run out of glow. Finding yourself a glitter moth would give you that glimmer of hope you need to continue all the way to the end. Some kind of ball. Glows with delight at your bright passion for the light.
At least you can feed this ride grass. Even more brains. Glad to see some wood scrap there. Eh? It's a fine way to ride. That place there's a real fixer-upper, not an entirely lost cause. Oh, that's some strong metal strap there. That, you need to swivel the Globus's bearings to get the Atlas Mapper to work. Just a few moves left, make them count. At least you're not coming out of this empty-handed. This might be the end of everything as we know it.
your balance is perfect. Morning is breaking. Little Moth Cave is right here. Every little bit helps. The day almost makes you want to smile. Mito says there's darkness in everyone's life, but as a lamp maker, he wants you to know there's light too. His goal in this dying world is to be like a flame fly, burning to light the way for others, and therefore he still. You look like you're in need of a special get through the night lamp. But to make something like that, he'd need a flame fly. Zaikandum. Says using dark tactics is an awful way to find a light. Bam! The dark wins again. Right? Right? You're always going to stumble with the dark. Don't doubt the dark. It's okay if I curse the dark just this once, isn't it? I'm just glad to be on the winning side. That's enough glitter moths to make her plan work. She wants you to stop worrying about the paths you've ridden and focus on the inevitable road ahead, the one that leads to confrontation with the World Eater.
The hoof puff is evidence of the duality of evolution, utterly beautiful and grotesque at the same time. She means that the hoof puff has had more time to eat at the root as it's been isolated in the Knoopstonies mountains. So, based on that alone, she reckons it has suffered as much damage as the northwest route that's hidden beneath the surf. Everything in nature is dual, and so is evolution, as it struggles to find balance in creation. She wonders what could be more beautiful than imperfection. Give it some gas. A wise investment. We're all heroes of our own stories, or so we hope. Everything grows here.
You seem to have made a new friend. Let's get that mount moving while the getting is good.
That sealed the fate of the third World Eater. Just one more to go. Out of Date asked to see you again to congratulate you and let you in on the final phases of his plan. This is your chance to get his priorities aligned with yours. Do right by your tribe and the world at large. Just head back to the Ark. He seemed eager to see you again. It's so v Koibe Wamawa. Out of date says there'll be consequences of the war, but there are more pressing matters at hand. The last world eater has been left undisturbed with the tree while you focused on the war. He thought someone with your light perspective and key would have had different priorities and faced the world eaters before resolving the tribe war. Regardless, out of date is grateful the tribe war is over. Out of date understands the road has been rough, but you already know what's left to end this journey, and it'll be tough. You're the only one that's strong enough to face the last world eater. The future depends on someone with a light perspective to give the world a chance to survive. Only time will tell what the future holds, and if it will bring a lasting peace for those. Uh, wherefore, where were? Out of date says the word about what you've done so far is spreading. The tribes haven't lost hope yet. Uh, he appreciates what you've done so far, but unfortunately, he's had urgent news from his friend Wiz in the Northwest. He's unsure about your intentions, but hopes you'll support Wiz. He says he'll point you in the right direction, but finding Wiz and making sure he gets what he needs is up to you. That doesn't sound good. Out of date's hunch is real. The Merc Puff is up next. Out of date says that Wiz is worried now that the Northwest World Eater is stepping up its activity. He explains that Wiz is working on an undersurf vessel in order to get to the World Eater, but needs help to get it done. Out of date suggests that you should head northwest as fast as possible and see what you can do to help. He's happy to help. Says you'll see.
the gooing of the water in the ground. Useful. You found Snodesburg. Such a neat village. Let's see. Shopkeeper claims you won't be able to find no no ki de ki baju ki Thank you. 